you flunked math and all you know about the weather is to wear a raincoat when it rains well stand by folks we may have just the school for you bob dotson has found this school here's bob now in our cross-country segment in boca raton florida it was on a hill such as this not so long ago when two brothers stepped into the skies changed the way the world would travel forever their names were wilbur and orville wright you know it's it's hard to imagine those times now when most flying is no more adventurous than riding a bus. But was that the Wright brothers' dream? Well, some folks don't think so. Tim and Wesley Friesen think the Wright brothers intended to open the sky to everyone, not just professional pilots. They have formed a company called Wrong Brothers Aviation to prove their point. We're going to fall up on you. Each day over Boca Raton, Florida, the Friesens teach non-pilots how to fly by themselves. Hey, the wind keeps changing direction, I'll tell you, it's a pain. The planes they use are so simple, they do not require a pilot's license. Top speed is only 45 miles an hour. With just a little headwind, the plane lands practically standing still. You look like you're hanging from a baby buggy up there. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Um, sometimes I feel like a little kid when I'm up there. But don't you think it's a, a tad bit dangerous for somebody who hasn't had training or a pilot's license and understands the weather? Um, yeah, it, it, it can be unless they take a course and they do it slowly and they do it safely. Um, the main thing is not to jump right in it, get up in the air, and go flying. You need a little ground school yet because it still is an airplane. But an airplane very much at home on the ground. It can be folded up and carried on a car. There we go, push It can be put together in a matter of minutes. Okay. Switch on. Switch on. Left rudder. Out. In. It looks like a hang glider, but runs like a plane. Clear. Clear. At $3,200, it costs less than half the more conventional model and is cheaper to fly. <laughs> the planes are pushed along by snowmobile engines that range 200 miles on five gallons of gas. <laughs> as high as 17,000 feet cruise the cotton horizons with no stoplights, no gas lines, no crowds. The hard part, of course, is finding the nerve to try. Each flight is a solo from the very first. There are no guarantees in the air either. If an engine quits, it cannot be restarted until it comes down. Boca Raton, two brothers are seeking the Wright brothers' old vision to open the sky to us all. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, in Boca Raton, Florida. Betty's got just the right phrase for all this. What do you call that? Recreational danger. And you want no part of Not it? Not for me. <laughs> we had a reporter. Uh, that, uh, those are about the size of mosquitoes in northern Minnesota during a good July day, actually. But I can't imagine. There's a report on the news earlier today from San Francisco folks. A group of British bungee dancers, they call themselves, came over here. They attached themselves to, in effect, big rubber bands, 200 feet long. They jump off the Golden Gate Bridge, attached only to this 
And then, as you might expect, they don't hit the water, they're snapped back and they run like a yo-yo up oh. and down. Between the wrong brothers and the bungee dancers or oh. the bungee jumpers, however you want to describe, that's enough to get your heart started for one morning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back after this message.